no water at the stream, so we're getting it the old-fashioned way. camera lens does look a little fogged up earlier I was trying to get a shot of how beautiful those trees were and I thought it was fogged up but it's just uh, the land it was real foggy through the trees uh, I'm almost down to the road we hear there's a spot point two to the west that maybe has a pint of ice cream and a place to charge the phones a little bit look at this probably all looks one shade of green on the camera but it's about 50 different shades and uh, even on a rainy day I'm blown away by how beautiful Vermont is it really is uh, it's just gorgeous uh, so when anyway, we came down from the lookout we stopped at Wentouri shelter to get water there wasn't really any water there so we've been hiking the last four miles without water uh, so we're gonna get down to this road it's 0.2 off, try to get our water bottles filled up, and uh, then going to continue on. Either way, I just need to make it to the post office uh, tomorrow by when they close. I was going to try to be there in the morning, but the rain really slowed us down in the morning. It's hard to get moving out of a shelter when it's pouring. You just keep sitting there going, oh, maybe it'll stop pouring in a minute. And then an hour goes by, and then you hike in the rain anyway. Um, but that's really, that's what I'm learning out here. The AT tells you when to go, when to stop. You really just listen to it and it'll tell you what to do. So, anyway, that's the plan. Getting to the post office uh, in Hanover by tomorrow. Picking up my last pair of shoes and a little care package from home, which I love everybody from home. I probably don't say it enough, but love you all. And, uh, I'm so excited to see what's in there. I can't even imagine what it could be, but I'm looking forward to it. And i uh, going to start this final, final push. New Hampshire tomorrow. Talk to you all soon. And yes, I wish those were marshmallows, but I know they're not. All right, talk to you all soon. Hey, everybody. Uh, we're leaving Vermont 12. You probably can't tell, but that is pretty much down. AT comes this way, and it goes up there. Also, probably hard to tell, but it is steep coming up out of this Vermont 12. Uh, I'm actually kind of glad it's sort of a rainy day today, because it helps keep the, the heat down. Um, but man, this climbing in Vermont is difficult, so we may just go to Thistle Hill Shelter be another seven or eight miles it's almost three so we got about five hours of daylight left so we'll see it all just depends on how these climbs are like this one right here is I guess it's not a super long climb but it's up I mean this thing is up so I realize all these Vermont hills are difficult but they're all just transitioning into getting even bigger as we head towards the whites but um I've heard that each part of the AT prepares you for the next part, so these uh, types of climbs now are just getting us ready for this New Hampshire stuff. Uh, but that's the plan, and you know, a step at a time, we'll see where we get. Either way, we're going to get to Hanover tomorrow by the time the post office closes, so not really a rush. We're just going slow, trying to not, uh, you know, sweat too hard or get too chafed up or... You know, step at a time, that's what we're doing, so. 
Well, uh, I guess this one is called Dana Hill. We'll probably check in from the top of this. All right, talk to you soon. I was walking and saw this. Made out of some metal sitting here. Nice AT symbol. I like seeing the different ways that people are creative. That is okay. Uh, not sure why that's just sitting here. Uh, I like seeing the way people are creative with making AT symbols out here. Uh, this is what we're walking through now. Still on the way to Thistle Hill. Uh, I would say that this section of Vermont is more like the roller coaster. I remember when we were coming through in Virginia, there's that section known as the roller coaster. I noticed the ups and the downs in that section to not really feel so much like a roller coaster because they were so big. This one, towards the end of Vermont here, right before Hanover, probably 20 miles left till Hanover, there's ups and downs and they're actually relatively steep but not super long. So this, this section to me feels more like a roller coaster. Um, yeah, so I probably got four or five miles to go to Thistle Hill Shelter. Uh, this section, well, I pulled the camera out because I saw that cool AT symbol, but also because this section is relatively flat and smooth. Uh, if the terrain map is correct, as soon as this flat spot ends, we're doing a half a mile or 0.7 or something, and it looks like it's absolutely vertical. So who knows? Maybe even be some hand over hand type climbing. We'll see. Um, but this is how Vermont's been, beautiful and green. And then you pop out and you see something like that. A little couple farmhouses and oh, it's just gorgeous. Vermont is absolutely gorgeous. So that's what we're doing. Uh, we'll check in at the top of the real steep one. All right, we're standing at the base of the last little climb up out from the road. And somebody wrote very slightly, you could see it, when in doubt, the AT always goes up. So, in case anyone was wondering, when in doubt, the AT always goes up. Uh, the guidebook says view up there. So I'll check in from the top, see if we actually got a view. Yeah, this feels like the top of it. Maybe a better view if it wasn't the most cloudy day. But, you can see a few rows of them back there. Oh, gorgeous. Breezy up here as you can see. Which, man, that's another thing. The way the trail's made in Vermont, it's just great because you struggle up these hills and they're difficult and it's a struggle. You get to the top and it's a lot of times it's just like this, you know, some trees but also some just bushes and things like that which lets the breeze come through and you need that breeze right when you get to the top of a hill it feels so good sky looking gorgeous oh man i love vermont beautiful coming down the hill this is literally trail right here there's a remembrance for van b johnson it's probably the first time i've seen one right along the trail like this kind of interesting.